going to demonstrate how to replace the default command prompt you get in Server Core on Windows Server 2008 R2 with a PowerShell command prompt. So the first thing we need to do is actually start sconfig because this machine does not have PowerShell enabled. So we'll choose option 4 from the first menu followed by option 2 from the second menu. This will then enable Windows PowerShell and will require the system to be restarted to complete that change. This has been sp speeded up in the video just to keep the video a bit shorter. Just seeing the final configuration steps being made and we should hopefully be prompted to restart the system. So we'll say yes to restart the computer and again we'll just cut the video a little bit to speed the reboot. The system now completing its reboot, so we'll log on and make the final changes we need to enable PowerShell as the default command prompt experience. So the first thing we'll do is we'll use the get-item property command when, once we launch a PowerShell command prompt to actually see the current uh, registry key setting for the default command prompt. So we will launch PowerShell by typing powershell.exe Now having launched PowerShell we will use the get hyphen item command. So get hyphen item property and then we can specify the uh, registry key that we would like to review. So HK local machine colon slash so HK local machine colon slash software slash Microsoft slash Windows space NT slash current version slash win logon is the uh, registry key and then we'll look at the, 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 the value of the uh, item shell so we can see here we actually have the current command line that's going to be this prompt that's generated when you sign into PowerShell just in case we actually want to be able to put the system back to as we started what we could actually do is we could save the current configuration in a file so we're actually going to get the system to actually select just the uh, parameter line by using the expand uh, property uh, option on the select statement to actually report the shell line and then we're going to output that into a text file you pipe in that into out hyphen file and specifying save shell.txt as the file name. The advantage with this, it then becomes very easy to actually reinstate the original command line if we wanted to. So we've now changed the uh, save the command prompt. So we now want to change to using a PowerShell prompt as our default prompt when we sign into Server Core. So we'll do that by using the command set hyphen item property and change the same registry key but this time change it to powershell.exe. So set hyphen item property space name speech marks HQ local machine colon backslash software slash Microsoft slash Windows NT slash current version slash win logon again we specify the value of shell that we want to change and this time we're using the set command so we're going to specify what we'd like it set to so we'd like it to be set to powershell.exe Obviously if you'd created PowerShell profiles um, 
you could obviously get the system to run those by supplying those as a command line parameter here as well so that uh, it would maybe configure your profile the way you'd like it to be maybe um, certain colors and so on if you if you requested that so having now completed that task if we log off and sign back into the system we should now actually see that we get the PowerShell as the default command prompt. And as the PowerShell command prompt provides very high levels of backward compatibility with the command prompt environment, it's a completely acceptable use, uh, command prompt to use. If we ever wanted to put the system back the way it was, because we saved the command from the previous uh, commands we could always easily just set the system back so here I'm just going to use the dollar shell um, variable just to make my life a bit easier and go and uh, get the system to read the content of the file that I saved so dollar shell equals the get hyphen content of the save shell.txt file then to actually set um, the command line to the value as you can see on the screen having shown what's in the variable again we would just use the set hyphen item property command very similar to what we did for setting the, the uh, PowerShell as the default prompt so again same registry key HQ local machine colon slash Microsoft or sorry software slash Microsoft slash Windows NT slash current version slash win logon and close the speech marks then space shell because of the uh, registry value we want to change and then set it to dollar shell and that would then set it back to the command that was the original command the system had so again if I was to log off and log back onto the system I would be back to the original command prompt so we'll just sign in again and there's the original command prompt thank you for watching this video hopefully it's been useful for you